Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. My name is Gary and oh, well, Steve's not here today, so it's just me. I'm gonna tell you about a cool tip that we wanted to show you on video and it's about screenshots. Um, we've done, there's been multiple times where I've had to ask people to send screenshots and essentially what you're doing is taking a picture of your computer screen and sending it through to somebody else or really taking a picture of your computer screen for any reason. So, you know, if, if you've ever been asked to take a screenshot or if you, uh, if you feel like you've ever had a time where you wanted to explain somebody, something to somebody on a computer without having to just explain it if you wanted to send a picture or something, this is a great way to do it. I'm gonna show you on the computer today exactly how to do it. We're gonna go through a couple different ways. One way that works on Windows XP and Windows Vista and Windows 7, and then another way that only works on Vista and 7 because of a new feature that they introduced called the snipping tool. So let's go ahead and turn to the computer now and we will, uh, we'll go through these different processes. Um, on the computer here, let's, uh, let me just start out here by saying, you know, I just have the World Start web page up. So this is a pretty simple way to, a pretty simple way to look at it and take, a, take an initial screenshot. Um, what we're going to do is, uh, first of all, I'll show you the way that works on every operating system, okay? Um, I'm gonna put a little picture of the keyboard down there first. You can see at the bottom of the screen there where the print screen key is. That is the key the main key that you need for all of this, the print screen button. So uh, to take a screenshot, we're gonna go ahead and press the control key and print screen, okay? It doesn't look like it does anything on the screen and that's just fine. Now what we're going to do is open up paint. Everybody has paint so it's easy to use. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit control V, which is just paste with the way you would paste anything. And you'll see what shows up here is a picture of my screen. Now, if you're using Windows XP, uh, this is what you're kind of limited to. Uh, at this point, you can take and use the select tool on paint here and cut out the part that you want, you know, and then hit control C to copy that and then maybe make a new one and just paste that part so you can send it to somebody so you don't have to send them the whole screen. Now, the other option that you have for every operating system is just to capture one part of the screen. For example, I have the WorldStar website here on Open in Firefox. What if I just wanted to capture this, this screen, this Firefox screen? What I would do is hit Alt and print screen. Simple enough, and then we'll go back to paint and paste this. And you'll see what it did is it only pasted the Firefox screen. It will, it will copy, the print screen button will print, will copy only the thing that you have selected on your screen. Okay, that's all there is for uh, Windows XP users, unfortunately. Now, if you're using Windows Vista or Windows 7, you have another really awesome feature that does, just it just takes it to the next level and it's called the snipping tool. Uh, to get to the snipping tool, you want to go to start and go to all programs and go to accessories and then click on snipping tool. What it's gonna do is open this little box, pretty simple. And it'll give you a, uh, a little cursor here. It looks like, uh, looks like an X. Now with this tool, you can select any part of the screen you want. So let's say I wanted just this login box from World Start. There you go. Now it's selected and all I have to do is go to file, go to save as. I'll save it to my desktop here and we will call this WS login and uh, leave the .png on there, that's the file type, and hit save. Now you'll, show that it, you'll see that it showed up here on the desktop, we'll double click on that, and, uh, and there it is. So you could take that and email it to somebody or email it to tech support and say, hey, I'm having trouble logging in or anything like that. That's pretty much all there is, with, all there is to do with screenshots. Okay, so now that we've shown you how screenshots work, I think it, it becomes pretty simple on you know understanding it. Now, the, like I said, the key thing to do here, the key thing to keep in mind is the print screen button. That print screen button will take a screenshot. It's the only one that does it. So uh, you know, like I said, just keep my keep in mind where that is, and it'll it'll save you sometime in the future. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I uh, just wanted to say thanks. And if you are watching this video on YouTube, stop by our website at WorldStart.com. Uh, also, if you have a question for us, go ahead and stop by www.worldstart.com ask, and we'll be happy to answer it for you. Have a great day.